I come from a very hardworking family, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a conservative. I'm not a pull yourself up by the bootstraps guy. I understand how people are marginalized and why they're marginalized. I understand systems of oppression, but I also understand hard work, and I understand the rewards of hard work, and I understand that the reason why I value hard work is because I was blessed to be born into a household that values hard work. Um, a lot of people just don't value hard work because they've never seen it. Um, that's not a judgment, that's just an observation. Um, and I just think, you know, it's the value of hard work and it's also being ambitious and just wanting this more than anybody. You know, I, I want, is I can't think of anything else that I, I'd rather be. Need motivation? What's the top 10 with Believe Nation? Hey, it's Evan Carmichael and I make these videos because you are probably the most ambitious person in your circle but you know you're capable of more and you get that push by surrounding yourself with the best. So today let's learn from one of the best, Talib Kweli and my take on his top 10 rules for success. Enjoy. Rule number two, be honest. The job of an artist, artists have, have one job to be honest with, with your craft. So art to me doesn't have to be socially active. Art to me doesn't have to have a message. Art doesn't have to have a point. Um, with that being said, the best art often does have a point. The best art is often art with a message. If that's the art that stands the test of time. Rule number three, change your definition of success. What path should people walk if they want to discover and define who they're going to become? Well, I think it's about your definition of success. And in this capitalist system and in a system where whoever has the most toys wins, the, our definition of success too often is whoever has the most toys wins. Whoever is the most popping wins, whoever is, has the most likes on Instagram wins, and I think we have to change our definition of success. For me, success is doing what you love for a living. It doesn't mean you're rich, it doesn't mean you're famous, it doesn't mean you'll never struggle again. It just means doing what you love for a living. And if that's the metric, then that's how you get successful. And the closer you get to doing what you love or being yourself for a living, the more successful you get. They wrote a book about it a few years ago called The Secret and they sold it and they sold millions and millions of copies of this book. And if you read the book, it was basically like, do what you love for a living. And I'm like, that shouldn't be a secret. Rule number four, do things yourself. Do it yourself. I, there's so much I can learn from up and coming artists because the artists that people are excited about are not established artists with long careers and or been on labels forever. The artists that get talked about the most are upstarts. In this, in this generation, it's people who are doing it themselves, people who you discover on your own. You know, once the artist becomes established, you know, at that point it's like, no, hey, nobody wanna talk to you, talk about it no more, you know? So I have a lot to learn from younger artists. And that's, that's what I would probably say, like, what, do I, what can you teach me? Also, to make sure you're actually taking action after watching this video, I've designed a special free worksheet just for this video. The worksheet will highlight all of the lessons learned in this video, as well as pull out our three favorite learnings and quotes that will inspire you to actually do something. The worksheet will also give you space to write down what your key takeaways are and your specific plan of action to make sure you're getting results. If you want the worksheet designed specifically for this video, absolutely for free there's a link in the description below go click on it and start building the momentum in your life and your business I'll see you there rule number five become indispensable how do you advise people to become indispensable like how does one learn to do that that's an interesting question I, I never thought about how to make yourself indispensable um, I guess in hip-hop I've done it by being closest to myself Naming myself Talib Kweli. Um, my style is loquacious and it's wordy is because when I first started rapping, I was rapping, I was, uh, had composition notebooks full of rhymes and I was trying to fit the rhymes to the beats. I learned later how to write to the beat, but my style developed from me trying to fit words where they didn't belong. And there was a lot of early criticism of my rap style. It was like, he's all over the place, he goes off beat, he's too wordy, but that's what made my style unique. Now no one could do it. Mm. Now 20 years later, that style is what helped me to do this. So I, I guess my answer would be get as close to yourself and your self-expression as you can. Offer the world something that is unique to you that no one else has to offer. Rule number six, love the challenge. I would prefer to just put my music out and you buy it. You know, I would, I would prefer to not have to email you or not have to give you my email, you know what I'm saying? But 
Um, but I, I like the challenge. To me, it feels like the wild, wild west. In the wild, wild west, the gold rush, you never, it was like we, people searching for what money was going to be. People, ser- people had no idea. You know, it was like they were, they were creating their destiny. And I like the idea of doing that. You know, it's, it's scary, but I like the idea of not knowing where the next dollar is coming from. It makes you work harder, I think. Rule number seven, surround yourself with greatness. If your team around you, you know, is, is dope and you dope and you are constantly putting out music and you are uh, defining your own space and you have your own destiny, the money's going to come to you and it's going to come look for you. And if you, if you really, really, really saturate your, your city and where you're from and make sure that you are supporting other artists where you're from, creating a network with other artists that you're from because at some point when the network is strong enough, somebody's going to blow. And then that person blows and then the spotlight is on the city and then it just makes it better for everybody. Rule number eight, learn from new generations. I'm in a different space than a new artist. So mm-hmm. I have opportunities that are opened up for me and lanes that are opened up to, to, for me that a new artist doesn't have. Yeah. But at the same time, the way that people discover music is more conducive to the new artist now. Because the way people discover music nowadays is not on the radio or on MTV, yeah. but it's on SoundCloud and Bandcamp and all these places. And these are the places where new artists can thrive. You, know, you have artists that are younger than me, newer than me, who have never lived in a world where these things didn't exist. So they know how to navigate it well, a lot better than I do. Yeah. You know, so it's like I take my cues from younger artists as far as figuring out how to deliver the music. Rule number nine, be the best version of you. How do you think about that act of becoming the person you want to be, the act of self-creation? Um, it seems like it feels to me in both your activism and your music that you're encouraging people to be a better version of themselves. And so how do you think about that? Um, I say, that's an interesting question. I um, try to visualize, uh, I don't know if that's visualization, because visualization is seeing things that haven't happened yet. But I try to often put myself in the mind state of a younger me. And uh, 20 years ago, I just wanted to rap. I just wanted other rappers to be like, he's nice. That's really all it's about. Like when I read Jay-Z's book, um, he talks about how the raps led to everything. He's like, you know, I'm seen as a billionaire, I'm seen as a businessman and isn't it but for me it was all really about those bars and and that's something that resonated with me and then when i was hearing you run down the things i've done i was like who the fuck is that guy <laughs> you know like i was like that that the person you just described i see myself sometimes as outside of that because i don't take stock of it um i'm just trying to rap good and the things even my business moves have been made so that i could be a better rapper i had no intentions of owning a label it's not my focus at all but that's just the smartest efficient way for me to be the best rapper i could be and rule number 10 the last one before some very special bonus clips is master your craft yo Abracadabra magical, respect is unilateral, universal, magnetic, automatically attracting you. These rapper dudes, matter emotional or rational. Music motivation, they converting on the capital. International traveler, I'm furling around with my flag, I put it down year round. Check the calendar, places I've never been, I'm trying to get to. Got the pilot, I'm the passenger. Whipping through the African diaspora, following navigation like patients to a degree, like a doctor with when I'm rocking. The education is key. Swallow a medication like patients to a degree, like a doctor give remedies. Except the doctor is me. Bump us down. Help us to cope with the stuff around us to drown us and get the liver from over and under counters. I'm overdosing my life, crushing it like a dream, yeah. With funk flex, yeah, you know what I mean, hey. See, way too dirty to be washed up. No, you need a spot to get your boss up. I know you famous, I would run up on a star. What? Fronting on me, the quickest way to get starstruck. Half of y'all hating on me, half waiting on me. I make money, money don't make me. You chase money while I make money chase me. Stick to the bottom line like the bass, 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 fix your face. Why you acting that rude? Nah, ain't nobody that cute. She got a face for radio. Look around, she got a face to ratio. Don't let these Brooklyn niggas go reaching. What they keeping in the creases of exclusive low pieces? Yeah, and make it bounce like fat titties. Try to rap with me, it's a rap city. Rap city, bitch. rap, rap city. Bitch. Joe Claire, days, you're a big ticket. Sh-. Throw your money in the air if you nigga rich. Stop that stupid ass. Sh-. Your kids getting big. Studio at the crib, we got a nigga rig. We loud, rude and considerate. I'm on my Bradley Cooper, I'm limitless. Faster than the state trooper, I get it then. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it going. 
at the height of my career, I should have been braver and going independent sooner. Okay. You know, I come from sort of um, an indie community. Um, LP from Company Flow and now Run the Jewels um, was an early influence on me as an artist, and he continues to be. He's somebody who has always found a way from official recordings to Def Jux, to Run the Jewels, to carve out a space for him to do what he wants to do professionally and never, ever bow to the system. And this is a guy that I have a huge amount of respect for. Um, but even though I knew people like that, I believed the hype, or I didn't necessarily believe the hype, I wanted to believe the hype. Because you know, like you said, I didn't start out as wanting to be a conscious artist. I, want, I started out wanting to be LL Cool J. You know, or be, I wanted to be just a rapper. Like, it wasn't like I'm, you know, I, I want to be the best rapper. Um, I didn't want to be the best conscious rapper. Um, I wanted to have a song on the radio and have a hit. That's what I wanted when I was a kid. Um, at the height of that, if I had made some independent moves at that height, I would have been looked at the people, my contemporaries like LP or Tech 9 or certain other people. Because you made it this far in a video, I want to celebrate you. Most people start and don't finish. Most people never actually follow through. Most people say they want something, but they don't ever do the work to actually get it. But you are different. You are special. Believe Nation, you made it here all the way to the end, and I love you. So it's a special celebration if you put a hashtag believe down in the comments below on this video, I will showcase you and celebrate you somewhere on the screen in a future video because you are awesome. To see the top 10 we did on Jay-Z, check the video right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. I didn't go to any proper business school or any, uh, read any super, uh, follow any manuals like the record business 101 or anything like that. I just pretty much followed my instincts.